Hey, what is going on YouTube? This is Will and in this video, I'm going to be going over which credit cards I have in my wallet right now to maximize, you know, points and miles that I get with my spin. But more importantly, in this video, I'm going to be going over how I'm going to be using my points, miles and credit card benefits for some travel that I have coming up in the very near future. Now, if you're new to this channel, I go over travel or credit cards and just travel in general. Hit that little red subscribe button for more videos and let's go ahead and jump into it. So first, let's go ahead and talk about which credit cards I have in my wallet right now. And the first one is gonna be no surprise to most of you, and that's gonna be the Chase Freedom Flex card, which right now during this quarter is giving you 5X back at grocery stores, as well as 5X back at supermarkets. So 5X back at grocery stores, I am super excited about because your boy is super broke when it comes to Chase Ultimate War Points. In fact, let me go ahead and throw up how many points and miles I have across all my credit cards right now. I think for Chase, it's like 75 or 80,000 points maybe amex i have about 540 550 000. and then i think i have like 200 000 hilton points and then pretty much everything else is really not worth mentioning anymore because i've been using my points <laughs> and miles but yeah i'm super broke when it comes to chase ultimate war points now you, with the five is back on the streaming i'm really not too excited about this and that's because i already have the chase inc cash card which is a business card no annual fee it gives you 5x back all the time on your streaming services, your phone bill, your internet bill, your cable bill, getting 5X back with a Freedom Flex card. It's cool and all, but you should definitely look into getting the Chase Inc. cash card if that's something that you're interested in. It is a business card and I've done videos on this on how to apply for business cards. Really not hard at all, guys, but yeah, definitely check that out. I'll link it up here if you want to see more about how to apply for business cards. Now, the next card I have in my wallet is gonna be the Amex Platinum card. So. I got this card back in December, which was, you know, seven months ago, and I had it in my wallet for six months to use the sign up bonus, which gave me 10x back at supermarkets. That ended last month, and I was planning on taking a uh, card out of my wallet, but I just got a referral bonus um, for having my, my wife signed up for the uh, MX Everyday card using my referral link. And the referral bonus was 5X back at restaurants for six months. So they didn't just give me points, you know, 10, 15,000 points. Nope, they ain't making me uh, spend money in order to get a sign-in bonus, which is, which is fine, I guess. So I get a 5X back for the next six months on restaurants using my platinum card. So that's back in my wallet. Now, the reason my wife got the MX Everyday card is because she actually just canceled her platinum card. So if you didn't know this, guys, if you say have membership reward points still on your account and you want to cancel a card, um, if you cancel a card, you're going to lose those membership reward points unless you have another membership reward point card on your account. So if you want to do that without having to pay uh, no annual fee, you have to actually sign up or you know apply for the MX Everyday card. You can't downgrade from say the platinum or gold card, you actually have to apply for it. So just you know, keep that in mind. And you wanna be sure you give yourself enough time when you do this to make sure the card actually appears on your account before canceling your actual platinum card. So I would definitely apply for the uh, MX Everyday card at least two weeks before you actually cancel uh, your platinum card or your gold card or whatever cards you're going to cancel to get or to maintain your membership work point. So just a little tip for you guys on that. So she's done with the platinum card. She's had it for two years. And then other cards I'm planning on getting. Oh, so that's all the cards I have in my wallet. So the Freedom Flex card, platinum card, only two cards I have in my wallet right now. And then I'm about to apply for the Chase Sapphire preferred card as well. So I am going to be eligible for the uh, Sapphire sign up bonus, which is every 48 months. And I will be under 524. Well, actually, I am already under 524 as of uh, end of July. So I'm eligible for the sign up bonus and to get another Chase card as of this video. So I'll be doing that probably within the next week or so. So I'll get the 100,000 sign up bonus, keep it for a year, and then I'll probably upgrade it to the Chase Sapphire Reserve card a little bit later. So those are the cards I have. That's the card I'm planning on getting in the future. And I'm still eyeballing that Hilton Aspire card and that Marriott Bonvoy Brilliant card. It's just a matter of timing and when am I going to actually need those benefits before I actually apply for those two cards. So. That's it for credit cards in my wallet and future plans. Let's go ahead and look at how I'm using my points and miles for some travel coming up. All right, so for our first trip, we're gonna be going to Los Cabos and that's actually coming up in just a few days. So a few days from when this video is gonna be uploaded, 
will be in Los Cabos. So I'm very excited about this. And I've already done a completely separate video on how we booked this. And I'll link that up here if you want to check it out, all the details. But just a quick highlight, we're flying Delta from Atlanta to Cabo and back. Uh, we're flying just economy there and then first class on the way back. And then in terms of hotels, we'll be at the Nobu and the Hard Rock Hotel. These hotels are actually right next door to each other. So three nights at the Nobu and then two nights at the Hard Rock. And the Hard Rock is all inclusive, whereas the Nobu it's not so very looking forward to this now in terms of content that you're gonna get from these uh trips guys um i'll do my best i'm gonna do a room tour at the bare minimum it might not be too fancy or anything like that but i'll definitely try to get a room tour for you guys just to show you guys you know how the rooms are gonna be looking if that's something that you're you know may want to be interested in going to so you know just realize youtube is not my main job guys this is really just doing it for fun youtube does not pay me enough to actually spend that much time while on my vacation to do these videos. All right, and then for our next trip, it's not really a trip, it's more of a staycation. So every year here in Atlanta, there is this little convention called Dragon Con on Labor Day weekend that we go to, and my you know, wife likes to dress up, and I pretty much go all weekend. And we do live like you know 45 minutes to an hour outside of downtown when you, you know count traffic and whatnot. So instead of us having to drive every day to get to the convention, we ended up just getting a hotel in the area, which we were super lucky about because usually these hotels during this time are completely booked up for like eight to 12 months in advance so we got super lucky with this hotel we're going to be staying at a marriott fairfield inn which was going for 325 dollars per night not including the taxes and fees so it's probably closer to like 370 i would say with those taxes and fees now we did use our uh, free night certificates that i got with my marriott bonvoy business card so that's offered by amex so i've had this card since it was the spg card back in like 2019 before it switched over to uh, marriott and yeah, this card used to be a $95 annual fee, but they didn't increase it to $125. So the first free night certificate was under that $95 annual fee. And the second one was under the $125 annual fee, but they did give me like a $50 credit last year to as a retention offer for that uh, Marriott card again. So I ended up paying less than $100 for both of these annual fees for a $325 a night stay for the hotel. So I definitely came out on top in a huge way when it comes to this card. Now, in terms of, you know, which Marriott card you should get or if you should get this business card one, you know, I would probably say it's okay, but the best Marriott card to get is definitely gonna be the Marriott Bonvoy Brilliant card, just because that free night certificate that you get with that card, it's just a lot more flexible and easier to use. And I've done a video on that. I'll link that up here if you wanna check it out. And then for the grand finale, you guys will be totally proud of me for this one because before we canceled my wife's platinum card, we were able to use that $200 hotel credit. So we do have a trip to Tokyo in March, 2022. Hopefully, fingers crossed that this pandemic can get under control by then, but we ended up booking a hotel at the Andes in Tokyo. So we ended up using her $200 hotel credit, which is a fine hotels and resorts property. And we also had another $200 travel credit that my wife got last year from Amex due to COVID. They were giving out $200 credits to the platinum card holders back then. So we had to use it or of course we were gonna lose it. So we ended up getting $400 off this hotel, which was going for, I think about $630 per night. So this is perfect. Uh, when we go to Tokyo, we're gonna spend some time in Tokyo when we first land there. And then we're gonna go to Kyoto for a few days and then go back to Tokyo the day before we had to fly back to the States. So we'll be staying at the Andes on that last night that we're in Japan when we get back to Tokyo. So, you know, it worked out pretty well here. Now, if you were to ask me if I were to, you know, book this hotel with just that $200 hotel credit and not the $200 travel credit that we also have, Probably not, I don't think so. It'll be kind of up in the air, but that $200 travel credit that we also had because of, you know, we'll just call it the COVID credit, you know, kind of put it, it made it an easy decision for us to actually, uh, you know, book this hotel. So again, fingers crossed, we'll actually be able to, uh, you know, take this trip. But yeah, so that's all the vacation I have planned right now. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do anything big between now and the end of the year, or at least now until uh, that trip to Japan in March. And that's because my wife doesn't actually have that much vacation time left because she just started a new job. And yeah, just not a lot of time to do too much. So yeah, we'll be taking some, maybe some smaller trips coming up. And if I, you know, book anything else, I definitely let you guys know, but yeah. 
that's it guys you know if you have any comments please leave them down below what you guys gonna be doing with your plans for the rest of the year thanks for watching be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more videos i'll catch you guys in the next one peace